Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. And oh my god, we finally found the world map. The world map theme is amazing. It's the main theme of Final Fantasy 7 and it's just a really good song. Yeah, five and a half hours into the game, we finally found the world map. Cloud's theme. It's the world map theme, the main theme, and Cloud's theme. Yep. And my materia setup isn't that much different because we're not going to be doing that much fighting this part. However, I do have the enemy skill materia in particular on because there's a certain enemy I want to encounter in this little kind of grayed out dirt area from where the Mako has been sucked dry. Uh, that's calm right there, so I'm just going to walk around in this little area until I find that particular encounter. I didn't realize that that's where Mako was drained. I thought it was just burned grass. Uh, notable, there is another enemy you can run into here that's kind of like a bike. I No, actually, no, it's this enemy, too. Uh, this is the Custom Sweeper. Uh, this has 300 HP, 63 XP, 7 AP, 120 Gil Week to Lightning because it's a machine type. And the two notable things about it is that first off, it has Matcher Magic, the first enemy skill in the game for us, and that's one we want to grab because, first off, I'm getting uh, every enemy skill in the game anyway. Also because it's just a really good one. Uh, however, I also want to steal from this thing because it has an item known as the Atomic Scissors, which is a close range weapon for Barret that I want to get. It can also drop potions. Must have taken a while to steal that thing, dang. Yeah, that took a bit. Uh, the Atomic Scissors, 32 damage, uh, two Link slot, no, one Link slot, two standard ones. Actually, no, I'm looking at the wrong, no, uh, yeah, no, I'm right. Uh, we're not supposed to be able to get that for a while, but I just want to get it now. And Matcha Magic, let me see if I can get that exact thing up. Uh, non elemental damage for the, uh, to the target party, but it's 8 MP on everything, so that's just a lot of really good damage pretty this easily. This is my favorite town theme in the game. I love the Ahead on Our Way theme so much. It's quite the calming pe- I see what they did. <laughs> God damn it. Now, we could go around the town and buy some stuff, but I'm just gonna go right on with plot. Because we're in here for the long haul again. Uh, not as quite as long as last part, yes, but if you look at the timestamp, uh, most of that is plot. Because obviously we've been through a lot thus far. We had a hell of a day getting Aerith back. We're going to take a rest here at the inn. But Barrett wants to know exactly what we know about this whole crisis with the planet, Sephiroth, so on and so forth. So we might as well tell our story. This is where things start to get a little bit of clarity. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. <laughs> but yeah, Sephiroth and Cloud, they were both in Soldier together. They were on some missions, came kind of war buddies, so on and so forth. Knew each other well enough to the point where they regarded each other as such. But after the end of the war with Wutai, we, Soldier was basically just task force. Take down any uh, uprisings, if something's wrong with the Mako reactor, check it out, so on and so forth. And that's actually what we're doing here. And I guess that would be the man himself over there. Hmm. <laughs> if only just, like... Every time I either watch someone play this game or I replay this game, I more of the dots start to connect because the the whole like Cloud's whole deal never ever made sense to me. The more I played the the more I played it, the more it became clear, but I still don't have a full understanding of what happens. There's a whole it's lot to cloud so, we'll go over as we go through. It's super layered, and I think a lot of it is dealt with in the uh, this uh, in later FF7 related games, which are all games I haven't played, which I want to play. The only one I recommend avoiding is Dirt Cerberus, just because even though I like the game itself, it's pretty bland. Oof. I don't have much inter interest in it anyways. Hmm. Pretty cool, but still. Yeah, Sephiroth's pretty blown with our mission. Find the issue, neutralize it. I do like how Cloud's kind of talking everyone up, trying to be chummy and such. It's kind of a bit different from what we know him now, mind you. This was five years ago, and five years can really change a person. Yeah. There's a lot of talk about, like, well, Sephiroth killed President Shinra, did he not? And now yeah, and Cloud's and... all buddy-buddy with him? What's, what's up with that? Yeah. Oh, hey, this is a dragon. Uh, it has stats, but it's not what's going over right now because Sephiroth's going to kill it really quickly. Wow. 
Uh, notable. I think the dragon attacks Cloud here. We're gonna get to see Sephiroth use some pretty advanced magic to heal him. But in the case any enemy in this next sequence actually attacks Sephiroth, they'll do zero damage. And there's actually, like, an in-stat reason for that. Sephiroth in this battle is, in any battles here, is inflicted with what's known as the Peerless status, which makes you completely invincible. Mmm, dirt. Peerless. Interesting. I actually didn't know that was a stat. Uh, there are ways for us to get that ailment. Uh, I can't even, I shouldn't call it an ailment. Status effect later on. Uh, but most of the time, it's basically just limited to disc one. Just get a holy war. <laughs> or uh, uh, what was the what was the thing in eight? Uh, I forget. I yeah, thought that's, is... I thought that's what it was. Is a holy it's oh. a ho holy something. Ah, I forget. It's been forever. I know you use it to fight the super bosses, and that's about it. But yeah, this is Nibelheim. This is Cloud and Tifa's hometown. It's got a pretty sad theme to it. Not gonna lie. Did he just say his mother's name is Genova? Isn't that the thing we saw last part? Huh. Hmm. That's a bit concerning. Yeah, just sit tight at your yeah. job, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't have Cloud say that. <laughs> Practice your pose. Yeah, because Cloud does that all the time. Actually, <laughs> kind of does in the early game. Now that I think about it, he does do that pose a lot, especially here in the early game. Mako smell. S Mako hmm. smells. I guess. Yes, Barrett. Yes, Barrett. We already talked about this. You're kind of behind, man. Keep up. <laughs> that headless thing we saw. Where is its head? This whole thing is stupid. That looks so stupid now, is it, Barrett? Yeah, Nibelheim is quite the small area, but it looks like it's pretty peaceful. And that well there is actually what we saw them on the flash. During, eh, eh, what we saw them get on in the flashback back in part one. For some reason, when I was a kid, I actually thought it wasn't just like an outright well. I thought that. It was like a domed surface. Huh. That doesn't even look like water to me. Yeah, it, it doesn't. But yeah, uh, this is our home, and he actually gave us express permission to go visit our family and friends. Oh, hey, they recognize us. Hi, Ben, man. Huh. This is Cloud's house. We actually saw this place very briefly earlier on. And uh, I, if I should note, uh, a good amount of what I do here is technically optional. Hmm. But I do it anyway. Yeah, she died only a few days later. Damn. Father, his father passed away, and then she died shortly after. That's pretty tragic. Yeah. It doesn't look that ill. Uh, I guess in this kind of world, anything could happen that quickly. I wonder if there's actually art of Cloud's mom. I, I I doubt if there don't I doubt so. if there is, but if there is, the problem if you I, I I am willing to bet if you look up Miss Cloud and trying to find her mother at his her mother his mother you'll just find the the concept art of him and, and then in a, in a dress yeah from the from that sequence earlier on uh no and wow he is he is really skipping stuff I'm not surprised usually it's only NPCs that are like very major to the storyline that get art like I think all of the Shinra group has art. Uh, obviously, yeah, actually, that's about it. It's kind of like, uh, I think General Leo had art back in 6. Uh, I think some of the other heroes in 5 had art. Cloud, you're skipping a lot of details here, mind you. Skipping a lot. I can't... All I'm seeing is, uh, sprite work and some fan art of Cloud's mom, which yeah, is actually yeah. really well done art. I'm not surprised. I always like to imagine the way that Cloud's kind of describing this thing with his mom. Like, oh, we talked about this, we talked about this, but it's never really important. Next, let's head next door. This is Tifa's house. <laughs> and this is potentially the most important place to visit here. In fact, I actively screw up on something here that I'll talk about when we get to it. Uh, note, nothing you do in this section is actually going to impact your relationship values. Uh, the only thing that does is when we get to the end of it. We found her underwear! 
I'm just kidding. Found Peaches XXX. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it is pretty similar to that, ain't it? This is a letter. Uh, yeah, let's read this. I remember what it said clearly. Oh, it's from one of the other people who left uh, Nibelheim with us. Mm -hmm. Someone living in the slums. Oh, I hope this dude wasn't in oh. Sector 7. Now, uh, I mentioned earlier, because I, I think I talked about it, uh, the Johnny character we've seen back a lot in Midgar, how they translate him as a childhood friend, I think this is where they got that implication. Because they read this and thought, oh, Johnny's probably a friend of theirs, due to how he refers to oh. them. But no, in the Japanese version, uh, Johnny is not a childhood friend of Clyde or Tifa at all. He just calls him that because of his relation to Tifa. Huh. I was gonna say... This piano... This piano's the important part. We can read sheet music, and by doing that, we actually get uh, Cloud do the uh, the main theme of the game. Keep this in mind for way later. But what you want to do right now is jam a little bit on it as well. Doing so will allow you to get an elemental material later on that I f do not get because I forget to do it here. Now I'm talking like part 15. No, maybe not 15, like 12. I like how it says forget. It says do and then forget, like it's saying do forget. Uh, you can head into uh, into the store there, but it's just not worth doing. Oh, this guy looks unique. Yeah, just who are you? You're Zangan, a martial arts teacher. Ah, yeah, I was about to say, that probably makes Tifa your student <laughs> then. Yes, she will yes, be. She, she will, saved my ass already. She will be the best character in the game. <laughs> probably. Yeah, what you looking at, Sephiroth? No, you've been here before? I mean, it does seem like it'd be a nice little vacation area. Just take a nice calming break. And we have a guide to the market reactor. Oh, good to see you already have all the plans set up. Oof. Tifa's dead. Oh. I yeah. love that Tifa wears a, a, a hat. Yeah, and in a lot of like the other games, uh, where Tifa's a playable character, I'm talking like Dissidia and such. This is her alternate costume. I actually really like that. It's nice. Yeah. I like the I hat. have not played Dissidia. I really want to at some point. It seems like a really fun, uh, a really fun game to learn. They're fun enough, but they're also, like, even for, like, fighting games, pretty repetitive, and the storyline is god-awful in all of them. Oof. Like, like the, the story itself plays well, but, like, the narrative... Mm. Yeah. It's all chaos cosmo, chaos cosmo, chaos cosmo. Chaos control. <laughs> oh, I wish. That final boss is bullshit. Either way, now we're heading up. We even got a commemorative photo. And wow, Mount Nibble looks pointy. Spike. And they're saying that's a natural formation? Yeah, I don't get that. Unless it's like water that's like, unless rain is like, tore it down over time. I don't get it. I don't think there's mountains that look anything like this in our world. Hmm. The notable, uh, when we get towards this region of the world later on in the game, uh, the mountains in this area do actively look different. Also, I'm editing out battles during this section for the most part, just because Sephiroth's going to be kicking ass anyway. Cloud's level one, he even has a different profile picture to show his youngness, which I think was actually his just his outright beta portrait for the game. Hmm. And any enemies here are just not going to be counted towards the thing because we'll see him again later on. And wow, Sephiroth's loaded out really nicely. He's got a lot of good stuff on him. He's also got the two ring, not the tough ring. The two ring is a P in there, uh, which is one of my favorite accessories Toff. we'll get later on. Tough ring. Oh. oh, God. We betrayed Shiva. <laughs> Temple of Doom. Big yikes. Also, something I've always found really odd from this point on in this section because of the fall, Sephiroth's walk cycle changes entirely to this really aggressive limping stance. Also, wait, wasn't there one more of us? Ah. Uh. <laughs> a man died today. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, thankfully he was just a faceless grunt. 
Dang. That's pretty Sounds sad. Sounds cold hearted, but we have to go. That man has a family. Think of the children. But the reason that this place actually looks pretty green on the inside is he just brought up the Nibble Mountains are very abundant in Mako energy, which is why the reactor is even placed here in the first place. And we also learned one of the more one of the more interesting tidbits about the world here. This is a Mako fountain, as Sephiroth's about to bring up. Also, I don't know why, but I really like the way that like, the, it almost looks kind of wooded here. It looks it's very nicely textured, I would say. It, the layout, I, I don't want to say layouts, but like the backgrounds in Final Fantasy VII are amazing to look at. Yeah, I don't, they're pre rendered, obviously, but I don't think they're the same kind of pre rendered that like uh, the Resident Evil games were, where they were 3D models rendered into 2D. I think these are just mostly sprite stuff. Uh. But yeah, uh, this is where we learn the origins of Materia. Mako fountains like this are very abundant in natural Materia. Materia in this world is just condensed Mako energy, given form, basically. And the reason that magic exists is because Mako Energy contains the knowledge of the ancients, apparently. So there was no Mako when the ancients were around, and then they created it, and then it became part of the planet? I think they just imply that uh, the world learned from them naturally. Their effects on the world, such as creating magic and such, just kind of reverberated through the natural order. Huh. Oh, I hate this pathway. Oh, yeah, that pathway sucks. And not because there's, like, any hard enemies on it when we see it again later on. It's more so the fact it's just tedious to get through. There is an enemy you want to, uh, at least if you want to grind, uh, you want to run into it. Uh, I don't think it's in... I think it's in this area. I think it's in that area. But uh, you, Might be. You, grind, uh, you grind to get more strength. But this is the Mako Reactor, so we better head in. Obviously, Tifa... Can't come in because company secrets, classified information, chap, chap, chap. Hmm. I don't know why, I just really love the nodding animation. <laughs> as well as her little stomp. Despite the character models in this game being far, a far cry from what 8 and 9s looked like, they still are really expressive with their animations. Which, actually, I think they kind of went a bit backwards with that in 8, because while 8 looked better graphically, I think the animations were a bit of a step backwards. I agree. Uh, 9 basically perfected it on both ends. And we've seen this camera angle before. Ugh. Oh, yeah, we have, haven't we? That, that little flashback we saw earlier. Like, oh, that was about... Genova? Huh. That name's going up a lot recently. Why is it specifically in the Nobel, in the Nobelheim one, though? Good question. They never bring it up. Also, I think this room—I yeah, think this room is actually unique to the uh, to the Nibelheim one too. Yeah, there's there's no other Mako reactor with this kind of layout, and we don't know why. I, I just love the concept of him jumping up. It looks like he's floating. Hojo. Nah, uh, what is Hojo doing now? Mako Rian becomes Materia. So, he put something else in the Mako energy to condense it into something else? Alright, let's see. Also, you need to talk to Sephiroth to jump up here, which I always found kind of odd. What do we got? Oh! Yeah. That's a monster! Oh my goodness. Normal members of soldiers are humans. So, oh! Ex These human experimentation. Ex basically extreme soldiers. Of course it's Hojo, that... <laughs> Hojo, you freak! Yeah. Also, why'd you bring up normal members? Are you different than us, Sephiroth? What's up? Oh! Whoa! Temper tantrum much? Sephiroth, what's going on? You're clearly not the same as these monsters. First off, you got some really nice hair, you're talking... Yeah, they were human, but they're not now. You're clearly still human. Different from others. Special in a way, but not like this. Well, that's because you are special. Not like that. Oh, whoa. Oh, my. Also, this scene, I think, was all over the trailers.
That's pretty scary, dude. And they never address that thing again. <laughs> I'm not joking. Why? They never bring up the thing that those things exist again. I don't know why, but... Yeah, Shinra is producing... Gotta move the plot somehow. Monsters, bioweapons, I guess. Oh my god, Shinra is Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought about that otherwise, but Shinra is just evil or Umbrella from Resident <laughs> Evil. Oh. They give you a nice little say break here, by the way, as well. Because Barrett's like, oh, I'm tired, man. What up? Come on. But obviously, we still got some time left, so we're going to go through it. Also, uh, I should have mentioned this earlier. I am going through the dialogue here a bit fast just to get through this all in one part. Uh, but if you're playing the game yourself, just take your time. In fact, I actually recommend exploring Nibelheim a bit more than I do. Just get some more dialogue out of people, because this is a really interesting section of the game. Yeah. Could be could be partially the reason why I never really got a whole lot out of it. Maybe. But... Yeah, it looks like that Shinra grunt sticking to us. Yeah, at least like it looks like we got a friend. There's that pose again. Yep. And this is a very interesting area. This is Shinra Manor. They never quite explain the origins of this place. Essentially, I've always thought that maybe Nibelheim is where the Shinra Corporation had its earliest start since this manor. Yeah, because it, it is a mansion, Shinra Mansion. So. And of course, they got hidden passageways. There's other rooms to explore, but there's nothing in there for us right now, just because there's nothing we can get at this point. Because this is a sequence in the past. Yeah. It wouldn't be there in the future if we'd already gotten it. So let's just see if we can find several. Whoa, that's an interesting lab. Organism found dead in a 2000 year old stratum. Gast, there's, there's that name again. Professor <clears throat> Gast found Genova, who is an ancient like Aerith? Oh. An ancient interested in science. Actually, I only just now noticed they call the reactor here in, Re in Nibelheim reactor number one, which we, I mean, I guess makes it the first Mako reactor? I guess that. I guess now the uh, reason why Genova was placed there was because it was the first ever reactor. Maybe. Then. And then Gast is dead. Huh. Sephiroth, you, you okay, buddy? All right. Uh, he wants to be left alone. Oh, Poor so I soul. I don't know why. I just love the detail in this room. Like, I really like the way that these pods glow. That's really nice. Also, uh, I'll bring it up again when we see more angles from this room. But frequently throughout the library here in the Shimmer Mansion, if you look around, a lot of books are arranged in the Roman numerals for seven. Just because it's Final Fantasy seven. <laughs> and damn, he's been here for days at this point. Cleaning out the That's shelves. That's crazy. How did he eat? Did, did Cloud just be like, hey, here's some chicken? <laughs> I guess more like, hey, here's some I, I, fr I, fr I, fr I fried up uh, one of those uh, enemies from outside. You need that brain food. Gotta get that protein, man. Yeah. This theme sounds eerie. Sephiroth seems, seems different. different. Most definitely. Ever since we got here, he's been acting a lot yeah, stranger. Ever since that scene well, with the, the reactor. That scene with off. the reactor. Yeah. Also, I, I really do love this theme. It's just so ominous and foreboding. Like, look, there's a seven there. And in this next scene, there's like five seven books around. Ah. Uh Oh, I can't unsee it now. Yeah. The traitor! Bro, what? Planet belongs to the Cetra. I guess that's the ancients, as we already know. Gotta find the promised land and happiness. Yeah, we know that. Okay. So, humans took the planets from the ancients? Yeah, they're my ancestors. I acknowledge yeah, the it's, mistakes, it's but... Not my... Come on, man. Why do I have to pay for that, you know? Yeah. I mean, I understand to an extent we should respect... It. Our, we should respect the past and make sure we make up for it, but mm -hmm. it ain't us. Now, what does that have to do with you anyway? An ancient named Genova was found in a geological stratum 2,000 years ago. The project produced people, people with the powers of... the ancients know the Cetra. Oh, oh! That's why your mom's name is Gen... Oh. Sephiroth, buddy. But... 
D you're clearly you. D just because you're like that doesn't mean you're any less human. Where are you even going? What? He's going to see his mother. Oh, mommy issues. That's and not good. the full version of the song is revealed. This is, by and large, Sephiroth's theme, those chosen by the planet, and I love it. Chosen by the planet to do what? Yeah, that's a good question. Find so we the probably promise. Follow one. him to make sure he doesn't do anything horrible. Because he does not seem to be in the right state of mind. Nope. I mean, man, he's been down there for days, probably not talking to people. He's probably just really screwed up in the head. He probably didn't sleep either. Oh. Oh! Burn it to ask, the ground. I would ask how this happened so quickly. But he did have a mastered fire material linked to all, I think. Christ, Sephiroth. Check he's just like, oh, fire, fire spell, target the roof. Fire spell, target the well. Fire spell, target the roof. Hey, you alright there, bro? Uh. Ouch. That see that moment right there very much reminds me of um a scene in six where after do the incident in Doma, Cyan enters a door and he does like there is no transition. He just goes in, and then he walks right back out and shakes his head. Yeah. I did. The, I love him when they say that, that. That's very showing a character. Okay. Oh. Severoth, what the hell, man? He's wearing some pretty flame-retardant clothing. And hair. It's got to be some good shampoo. We it's most definitely an old reactor. Yeah, we have to get him back for this. This ain't right, man. I'm gonna smack you with the upside of my sword. Uh oh. That's. Uh, that was Tifa. And T her dad. That was that was Tifa. This seems very familiar, in particular. And there is a reason for that. You might recall. I forget exactly when it was. Was it the end of the second reactor we created? Um, yes, it was the second reactor. Yeah, we saw this. I guess Claude was just having a flashback at that point. Don't know why Tifa didn't bring anything up, but I don't know. Or why he brought it up to her, even. <laughs> That'd be so stupid if you could check the body and there was an item. Like you could with the. If you. Like you could check the. You got uh... a Phoenix down! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sephiroth, what the hell, man? Also, Tifa, you probably shouldn't run into Oh, so he's a master swordsman! Oh, she's the only one who can wield it. Boom! Oh lord! Oh, that is also, some serious back damage right there. Yeah. Also, a stylistic choice I really liked it. They kind of cut noise out when after he slashes her. That's really nice. You all right, Tifa? Well, obviously, you are here with us today, but she was t posing at the at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. <laughs> you ever T posed to a so circle gravity? Sir Dominance oh. over gravity? <laughs> Modern that's she, memes! That's how she survived. <laughs> so we'll be back for her. Sephiroth, man, what the hell? Not only did you burn down my town, kill my mother, and basically everyone else in it. You went for teeth. You killed. Really? So you killed my mother to get to your mother. Then there's something wrong with that, sir. Yeah. You're just completely gone at this point, aren't you, man? Oh, this makes me really want to watch The Last Order again. Oh, Last just Order watching is... this scene. Uh, for those not in the know, Last Order is a Final Fantasy VII OVA that deals kind of with this entire sequence as well as towards the end of the stuff from Crisis Core. Uh, he'll, Kenny and I'll probably actually cover that at some point because I do want us to do most of the compilation of Final Fantasy VII stuff together, at least what that I can do. Uh, the only thing I'll probably tackle on my own is Georgia Cerberus just because I don't want to have you sit, sit through that. <laughs> also, the rare time we have an FMB with text over. Also, I love the way his eyes work in this scene. Oh, 
That's totally not reminiscent of certain religious imagery. <laughs> Man, those eyes. Yeah, that's definitely the thing we saw back at Shinra. Also, I would like to note, the text on her headplate, I think, says Copyright Square 1999, or something like that. <laughs> Where are you hiding that? On his little back, man. But, like, it wasn't there before. Yeah, PlayStation 1 it, I mean, you can't really give Yuna any excuses either. Yeah. Well, Fancy has that issue. It's one thing I'll give 15. They just kind of poof them in because they can. <laughs> Sephiroth, man, we were buds. And you killed everyone. Also, uh, seizure warning to those with epilepsy problems because this screen flashing can be a bit obnoxious. Wee. Ah, that's. Woo. That's harsh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ain't there more? Yeah. It's kind of missing the climax there, Cloud. I don't remember. <laughs> Dang. Cloud's pretty logical going through here. Sephiroth's supposedly dead, and he couldn't have won, but he's here today. Some information's missing here on all counts. There's some missing pieces of this yeah. puzzle. To quote the book Holes, you're going to have to fill in the holes yourself. Or the oh. game will as we progress on more accurately. What a great book. Oh, I love that book. It's also probably one of the best movie book-to-movie adaptations I've ever seen. Also, uh, for date mechanic stuff, I actually want to choose a very specific set of options here. I want to say, wait a sec. Uh, if you say beautiful, just beautiful, it's plus three to Barrett. Is that uh, is that all is minus one to Barrett? And through another choice, uh, if you say right off the start, he'll gain plus one. <laughs> How bad were you? Well, you're alive today, but... You were pretty much out pretty of it at that point. banged up. Or sliced up, as they would say. She didn't get hit. Yeah, she's lucky she's alive. It's a... What a fascinating story. Yep. And now I'm actually going to head immediately back upstairs before we end things off, because this cabinet here has an item for us that we can't reach. Still can't reach it. Cloud, you're pretty short. You can't reach it. Come on, man. Stop trying. Really? Hey, it worked, and we got a Mega Elixir for that. Wow. Yeah, that's that's not getting used. What? 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 I have never seen that before. I think it's the earliest Mega Elixir you can get in the entire series. Why can't we just have Barrett grab it? Cloud's really tiny. Yeah, it's because he's already downstairs. Either way, with that and the long flashback sequence out of the way, we're going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching, and in part 8, we're going to be exploring the rest of Calm now that we've got that sequence out of the way, and seeing where we're going to head after that. See you guys See you then. See you guys then.